Dr. Kara Nyberg was part of a big family growing up in the tiny town of Vining, Minnesota. And from the time she was a very young girl, she knew she wanted to be an astronaut, although she doesn't know why. She learned some solitary pursuits as a little girl. I've been sewing. My mom taught me to sew when I was probably five or six years old. I've been drawing since I was also that age. I used to, I would never sit in front of the television just sitting there watching TV. I always had a piece of paper and a pencil and was drawing or doodling or doing something. But she took advantage of being in a small town to join more school activities than most kids in big city schools join. I was on the basketball team, the volleyball team, the track team. I took stats for the baseball team. I was in the choir. I was in the band. I was in the drama club. I was able to participate in all of them, um, learn to be a team member. She went to the University of North Dakota to study engineering and learned about a program that lets students work at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. Nyberg worked as a co-op in Houston while finishing her bachelor's in mechanical engineering in Grand Forks and while starting her graduate work at the University of Texas at Austin. After she finished a master's and a doctorate in mechanical engineering in Austin, she returned to JSC, working full-time in the Crew and Thermal Systems Division for two years before she was picked for the astronaut program in 2000, where she met her future husband, fellow astronaut candidate Doug Hurley. Nyberg was part of the STS-124 space shuttle crew that delivered the Kibo laboratory module and Japanese robotic arm to the International Space Station in 2008 and was the first person to ever operate the shuttle robotic arm, the main station arm, and the Japanese arm. She's confident this mission will appeal to the adventure seeker in today's kids. I think a, a lot of it is based just on human nature, that we are all very curious people. Um, human beings like challenges, and this is an ultimate challenge.